guys welcome back to my channel i am very excited for this video because i am going to be doing my makeup on camera for you guys i'm going to be doing a new year's eve get ready with me video i've got all my makeup just kind of laid out over here right in front of me you guys can't see the mess because i played around with a shot really clever or whatever but yeah i've got all the mess right in front of me over here i am gonna just basically doll my face up because i feel like it and uh, because new year's eve well new year's day is tomorrow and this is going to be the new year's eve i'm going to be getting ready and i'm going to show you guys how i do my makeup i've actually got an outfit for this video a really cool sparkly dress and yeah i'm just so excited for this video i'm gonna doll my face up i'm gonna go ham with the makeup i'm gonna literally go all out so without this long intro let's jump right in to the video please excuse how bad i look right now i had to like yesterday I, this is so this is so random but yesterday i had pineapple and i think i don't know if i'm allergic to pineapple but when i woke up i had like red spots i don't know if you guys can see over here a little bit i had red spots all around my mouth and it was really sore to open and it hurts doing this i don't know so i put concealer around my face and then i had to put some sort of tinted lip balm because it was so red so i hope that's okay i hope um i don't look too bad so please excuse how bad i look right now and a lot of people say your foundation is always so much lighter than your hands i do tan my hands so my hands are a lot darker because i do wear a dark foundation it's kind of confusing but yeah i do tan my hands so that's why my hands are always a bit darker than my face um uh, having said that i've done my eyebrows already as you guys can see um i've done my eyebrows so much so much so many times for you guys so i thought why not just leave that out so yeah i'm gonna go for my eyes i've got two palettes i'm gonna be using today i've got the urban decay ultimate basics and i love this for like the browns and the nudes here it has such a gorgeous shades these three are just amazing so i'm gonna be using those and then I've got the Zoeva matte palette and this is such an amazing palette. Like these four are just beautiful. So I've got this palette and I've got some, where'd it go? Loose pigment. I've got this silver loose pigment. And I've also got this Inglot liquid like eyeshadow thing and an aqua. Aqua is it? I don't know. Yeah, so I might be playing around with that. So yeah, I'm thinking for my eyes, I might go for like a really shimmery, silver because i think it's very appropriate now that it's new year's eve today's new year's eve so i thought you know all the glitter all the glam for new year's eve so yeah i think i'm gonna go right in i've got my brushes here that could really do with a wash but let's be real it's me and i i never never wash my brushes okay that's a lie i do at least once a month that's so disgusting i can't believe i just saw you that but yeah once a month is about the time that i do it anyways i'm gonna go and apply a primer this is the urban decay eyeshadow primer Excuse me, I keep touching my nose. My nose is really itchy. Anyways, it's this one here, and I'm gonna apply a little bit on my eyelids just over here, just to keep the eyeshadow lasting a lot longer and be like more true to its color and all of that good stuff. So I'm gonna apply that all over my lids. Okay, so now that I've done that, I think I'm gonna go right in with the eyeshadow and I'm gonna go. I think I'm gonna go for oh, I can't really tell what shade this is, but it's this one over here. It's like a nice nudie brown. Yeah, I'm gonna put that kind of just over here on the crease line and just smoke that out. I'm gonna do my eyes first and then move to foundation and stuff just so in case it like if in case any fallouts and stuff I can clean it up and it won't look too bad. I think I'm gonna bring you guys in a little bit. This Zoeva palette is very, very pigmented, as you guys can see. And what I love about it is so inexpensive. What's everyone doing for New Year's? Let me know. We were supposed to go to London, but we're here in Leicester, so we didn't go. So we might do some fireworks at home and all of that good stuff. So that should be cool. So I'm excited about that. That's for sure. And now I think I'm going to move on to the... Ebony K palette and I'm gonna go for a shade darker. I'm gonna go for extra bitter, this one over here. I'm gonna get a smaller brush and just kind of really smoke it. I 
Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna blend everything out so it doesn't look too harsh. So yeah, I think I'm gonna go for a good cut crease because I haven't done one in ages and I don't know why. I think cut creases are so beautiful. And you can really play around with the colors and stuff. So I think that's what I'm gonna go for today. Guys, I literally can't believe that it's like 2019 tomorrow. It's kind of insane. Like that's actually insane. How has like 2018 gone by so fast? I don't understand. It's actually just kind of crazy. It's just crazy how time goes by so quick, subhanAllah, like it's crazy but it's like scary in the same time, it's like what? How? Okay, so I'm quite happy with the eyeshadow now. I'm going to go in with a concealer and I am going to show you how I do my cut crease. Honestly, super, super easy. Okay, so for concealer, I'm going to use the Too Faced Born This Way multi-use um, concealer. All I do is just add a little bit on the hair. I'm gonna get my little buffing brush. What brush is this? It's by Real Techniques. It's a crease, uh, deluxe crease brush. And I'm just gonna blend that. Okay, so now that I've done my cut crease, as you guys can see with the concealer, it's super easy to do it this way. Honestly, I find it like really straightforward. I think I'm gonna go in and apply a bit of the Inglot like liquid eyeshadow thingy imaging. It's so easy just to apply it on your eyelids. And then I think I'm gonna go, let that dry for a little bit. And then I think I'm gonna go and apply um, some dust, dust eyeshadow in silver shade. I don't even know where it's from. It's from Primark, so I don't, it's got no shade on it. So don't blame me. <laughs> Okay, so I am loving the way the eyes are turning out. I'm so happy right now. I think I'm gonna go and add the eyeshadow dust and just kind of pop that all over my eyelids. And then I winged it out a little bit because I think I'm gonna do an eyeliner, like a really, I don't know if I'm gonna go thin or thick. I don't know, we'll soon see. I usually put a thin one and then it turns out really thick. So God knows. So I'm gonna do that and then apply some really big falsies. I think that's gonna what's gonna pull the whole look together. But anyways, I am, oh my God, it's everywhere. Yeah, I'm gonna go and uh, pop this all over my eyelids now. Wish me good luck. Okay guys, so for lashes, I think I'm gonna go for the Doll Lashes in shade Jamie J. Yeah, I think that's the one. Um, it's really huge, flattery, long lashes. Obviously, because this makeup is full on. I am going to go for a full on look. So that's the whole look I'm going to go for. So yeah, I think I'm going to apply this. And um, Okay, so I'm back. 10 years later. Hello, my lashes are finally on. Took me forever. Okay. I'm not really good at lashes, so please bear with, but I hope they're kind of on. They look nice now that the whole looks together. Anyways, I'm gonna move on to foundation. I'm gonna use the Giorgio Armani foundation in shade three. And this is amazing for like nice, glowy, luminous skin. And that's why. This foundation is like literally like skin. It just makes everything look so flawless so nice and i just love this foundation so i would highly recommend this foundation if you're on a look for like you know a natural looking foundation that hides everything this is the one okay yeah, so i don't know if you guys can tell but it definitely gives you like a really nice luminous finish on your skin so i would definitely highly recommend this foundation i'll leave everything um actually i'll leave everything i used uh, today on my skin in the description box below so if you wanted to pick up anything um everything will be there with the links and direct links to the shops and all that good stuff that you guys really want to know but anyways for concealer i'm going to move on to the same concealer that i used for pretty much everything on my face today the born this way concealer i would highly 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 recommend picking one up because this is amazing it's a multi-use and it literally does everything for you so love that
Okay, so time to bake underneath the eyes, of course. I'm gonna go in using the new Magic Powder Under the Eye and Face uh, by Charlotte Tilbury. This is amazing, so I'm just gonna apply a bit underneath my eyes just to kind of, you know, make sure it stays there all day because, you know, we, we don't want no fallouts, do we? No. Okay, so we are done baking. Now we're gonna move on to contour. Of course, I'm gonna use my Kat Von D new palette. I love this for contour and highlighting. I already baked underneath my eyes and in my face, so I'm just gonna go in with the contour shades. Um, I'm gonna go with the medium first just to build up the color, and then I'm gonna go with the bronzer just to kind of bronze the rest of my face. Okay, so I'm gonna smoke this out further now that I've done my contour. I'm gonna go in with the Urban Decay palette, gonna get a bit of a brown which is in shade Faith and just smoke that underneath my eyes and apply a bit of mascara. Okay, so it's highlighter time and I'm gonna be using the OPV um, in Glamorous and this highlighter is literally blinding, so you guys will see what I mean in a minute. I love this. Okay, so last but not least, I'm gonna go in with a bit of blusher. This is NARS Orgasm. And I'm gonna apply a little bit of that just to kind of pull the whole look together. Okay, now I'm gonna spritz my face using the Stay With Me Matte Fixing Spray by Miss Lane. Miss Lane, I don't know, it's this one here. Okay, so I'm finally done with the makeup and now I'm gonna move on to the outfit, the scarf, and all of that good stuff. So see you guys in a moment. 